What's up you guys, it's Steve here and President Joe Biden has just addressed the nation regarding unemployment, stimulus, and the jobs report. And I'm gonna be sharing with you the video footage. This is your breaking news update, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update. Now take a look you guys, another disappointment. US economy adds only 194,000 jobs in September, coming way short of what was anticipated, but take a look at this breaking news headline, you guys. U.S. has 194,000 jobs in September, but the jobless rate at 4.8%. That's right, take a look. Unemployment apparently has dropped from above 5% down to 4.8. So a little bit of some conflicting information here. Let me know your thoughts. But what we're hearing is, take a look, President Joe Biden points to the pandemic as the reason for a disappointing jobs report, but argues progress is being made. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna take a look at the video footage so you can see it for yourself. But take a look, you guys, US cases in the United States, you can see that our seven day moving average is right underneath 100,000 per day. So this is still raging on, but luckily, we are on a decline. Now, take a look, you guys. President Joe Biden on the flat jobs report says jobs are up, wages are up, and that's progress. Now, I'm not sure if you can kind of see the sarcasm right there coming from this article, but you guys, we're hearing a lot of people were saying this was a major disappointment and President Joe Biden just kind of ignored it, just kind of brushed it to the side and said, we're making progress. And he though touted that this is why we need the Build Back Better agenda, why we need infrastructure and stimulus. Take a look, you guys. Biden keeps us waiting 90 minutes and brushes off another poor jobs report. And it says President Biden on Friday brushed off a second month of a disappointing jobs growth figure, claiming monthly totals bounce around before walking off without taking reporters questions. Man, you can see the perspective of this particular article right here. And take a look, you guys. The new report showed us that the U.S., added just 194,000 jobs in September, far short of economists' expectation of about 500,000. So this is not even half of what was anticipated. The shortfall compounded a hiring slowdown in August when the U.S. added only 366,000 jobs. According to revised figures released Friday, far below economists' expectations of 720,000. So missing the mark quite a bit here, but Take a look, you guys, not only President Joe Biden, but also Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Like Biden, she sought to flip the script on the disappointing data. Pelosi said that reports show that Congress must pass a pair of major spending bills branded the Build Back Better including a $1.2 trillion Senate-passed bipartisan infrastructure bill and a pending $3.5 trillion social spending package that faces resistance from centrists, aka the next stimulus bill. Take a look, you guys. Nancy Pelosi said that the September jobs report is additional proof of the need for Democrats' jobs-creating Build Back Better agenda. While historic progress to create jobs, lower unemployment, and defeat the pandemic has been forged under President Biden and congressional Democrats, more must be done to protect families' financial security now and for generations to come, she said. So you guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the video footage. I'm gonna share with you the news report with all the data coming out and also what Biden had to say on unemployment and stimulus. Now, we're gonna dive right in, get you caught up on the latest as of today, October 8th, 2021. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, keep me up to date on everything that's going on right now and I know there's a lot. Don't forget though, just take a quick second to smash the like button before we go forward. Helps out the channel a ton, just lets the YouTube algorithm know that you think I'm doing a good job and they're gonna to continue to promote my channel and my videos. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Also, leave your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the jobs report, unemployment, what's going on, how we need more stimulus. Could we see a potential unemployment extension if things continue to go this route? Let me know your thoughts. Also, share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff so you know what's going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3, which is by far the best way to get a hold of me. If you got any specific questions that you want answered, I go through all my DMs. Give me some time because I get a lot of them, but I'll go through and I'll do my best to get you any answers to any questions that you have, you guys. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in and let's start off with this video footage from CNN Politics as they're gonna be breaking down the new reports that just came out and then we're gonna take a look at President Joe Biden and what he had to say on them as well. 194,000 net new jobs added, way less, way less than anybody expected and less than last month and the worst of the year but the unemployment rate fell to 4.8%. Remember, in this data, there are two surveys the government does. 
It calls businesses and says, how are you hiring? What are your numbers? And it calls households and says, are you working? So the household side of this equation is more people were saying, hey, yeah, I did get a job this month. That could be new business creation. That could be people not going back to their old employer, but starting their own job. We'll have to see how that pans out. Here's what the year looks like. Again, a disappointing net job creation in September. But August and July were both revised higher. What that tells us, there was a hiring boom this summer before the Delta variant was a big problem again. There was a lot of optimism and businesses were hiring. So where does that put us? Still down more than 5 million jobs in the pandemic. Look at this. We had that huge crash in February and April. It's taken us 17 months to try to crawl out of this hole. That hole is still, still more than 5 million. There's that jobless rate, though. That has been dramatic. And again, these are households here. Households, John, when called by the government, surveyed by the government, say, I do have a job. 4.8% is the unemployment rate for that survey. Really important, I think. Wow, shocking data right there. And I feel like those charts really kind of put it into perspective for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But now let's take a look at what President Joe Biden had to say just a little while ago so you can see it for yourself. Hello, folks. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, for the first time since March of 2020, the American unemployment rate is below 5%. In just eight months since I became president in the midst of a grave public health and economic crisis, unemployment rate is now down below 5% at 4.8%. Let me just repeat that. Today's report has the unemployment rate down to 4.8%, a significant improvement from when I took office and a sign that our recovery is moving forward, even in the face of a COVID pandemic. That improvement was widespread. Unemployment for Hispanic workers was down, and the unemployment rate for African Americans fell almost a full percent. And it's now below 8% for the first time in 17 months. A drop of 496,000 in long-term unemployment is the second largest single month drop since we started keeping records. The largest was in July. So in the past three months, we've seen a drop of 1.3 million long-term unemployed. That's the largest three months fall in long term unemployment since we started keeping records in 1948. More to do, but great progress. And working Americans are seeing their paychecks go up as well. In September, we saw one of the largest increases in average wages paid to workers on, of, of working Americans on record. Today's report comes one day after the Labor Department found in the third quarter of this year, the number of layoffs and job reductions was the lowest in this country since 1997. Overall, the unemployment report shows almost 200,000 jobs were created last month, over 300,000 in the private sector and 26,000 in manufacturing, offset by some seasonal adjustments in education hiring. The monthly totals bounce around, but if you take a look at the trend, it's solid. On average, 600,000 new jobs created every month since I took office. And in three months before I got there, that was one-tenth what was being created. It's 60 to 60,000 as opposed to 600,000 jobs a month. <clears throat> in total, the job creation in the first eight months of my administration is nearly 5 million jobs. Jobs up, wages up, unemployment down. That's progress. And it's a tribute to the hard work and resilience of the American people who are battling through this pandemic working to keep their businesses afloat. Remember, today's report is based on a survey that was taken during the week of September the 13th. Not, not, not today, September the 13th, when COVID cases were averaging more than 150,000 per day. Since then, we've seen the daily cases fall <clears throat> by more than one third and they're continuing to trend down. We're continuing to make progress. Well, there you have it, you guys. That just came out a couple hours ago. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with some of these news articles that President Joe Biden came out late and just kind of brushed off the bad jobs report saying, yeah, it's down, but it goes up and down. But overall, we're doing really well and we're on track. Or do you agree with President Joe Biden? You feel like uh, we are on track. Things aren't going well and we're improving. And he also said this is the reason why we need stimulus and infrastructure. And we've heard Congress is now going to be turning their attention towards those bills. And he's saying the infrastructure bill of $1.2 for roads, bridges,
Bridges Highway's traditional infrastructure. That'll help create more jobs. And we also heard him say that the $3.5 trillion spending bill, the social spending stimulus bill, that is going to be providing money to people and going to be helping us through this time. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but I'm expecting we're going to be hearing a whole lot more information on those two bills, especially now that the debt ceiling and the government shutdown issues have been pushed off for now until December. But I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second if you appreciate these updates to smash that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, come join the viewing community. Come join the Ram fam, we like to call it. Smash the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at Steve ram3 but with that being said you guys hope this reaches you well i'll be sure to catch you in the next video take care god bless this is steve